I'm standing on the lot of Colonel John Billups. He and his wife and three of their sons are buried on this lot. Another son is buried on yet another lot with his sister. Uh, Colonel John Billups had not yet been born when the committee from the Georgia legislature stayed with his father, Captain John Billups, over in Oglethorpe County to come choose a site for the University of Georgia. So that was one year before Colonel John Billups was born in 1802. Colonel John Billups was educated at Princeton. He was uh, in both houses of the Georgia legislature. He was a trustee of the University of Georgia. He was just a man who knew how to do whatever needed to be done, and he was a successful planter on top of all of that. And I love the inscription on his grave because it gives us a definition. A lot of us think we know what a Southern gentleman is, but this tells us all of the attributes. Natural endowments of high order, strengthened by liberal education and adorned by tasteful culture, duty public and private, a sense of duty in public and private, a delicate sense of honor and polished manners made a noble model of the Southern gentleman. So there are many characteristics rolled into one to make a Southern gentleman.